Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Tips for Animation with Jason Rogers. If you've been uh, following my videos you'll know that we've covered creating concepts for your animation and from there we went to script writing and storyboarding and now we're at the stage in the production process where we're going to talk about animatics. Now I'll just bring up on screen here some examples of animatics that I've created. As you can see, they're in black and white. Um, some of the drawings are quite crude on these ones. But you can see that it gives a sense of movement and animation. Now, what are animatics? Animatics are basically an animated version of your storyboard. That's the way I describe them and it's at this stage of pre-production that we get a very close idea of how the animation will actually look like um, as far as the timing, the action and also we can put a scratch dialogue track to, the, to, to sync up with the animatic. So basically the animatic is a, a testing ground for your animation before you actually start that labour intensive process of, of animating. You can check that the timing's right, you can check that the storyboard f actually flows when it's animated. Um, as I mentioned these are quite crude. Um, you don't always have to be elaborate with an animatic. Some, the, the main point is to get uh, a, basically a draft up, something that doesn't take you too long to create but it gives you an idea of what's going on and allows you to have a, a good understanding of the timing of your shots before you actually begin the animation. Okay, I'd like to show you a scene from one of my animations, Flowers Have Feelings 2, and this is one of the shots from the animation, and this is the animatic version of that shot. Now I'm going to talk about elements, some elements of animatics. One thing about animatics is that the animation can be very simple. The, the main point is to give you an idea of the movement. So its main focus is on the timing. So if I run through this here, you can see the character is blinking his eyes. The rain starts to pour down and he brings out his cup. As you can see I've just used simple tweening there and I'll show you uh, an example of the finished shot. So here it is in colour. If I'm to press play there you can see but he's blinking his eyes. I've adjusted the movement in some ways but as you can see basically the animatic contained all the elements of this shot. Okay, in this part of the video I'd like to show you how I create my animatics. There's no hard or fast rule as to how you can make these as long as you have a program like Flash or After Effects or something that can keyframe and tween you should be able to make an animatic. I'll show you how I do mine in Flash. As I said there are many different ways you can make them. But what I like to do is use my storyboards, since they're already drawn, and base my animatic artwork off those. Now here I've scanned in the storyboard, and here I can see the arrow telling me that the character is to pop onto screen from the bottom up. Now I convert that scanned image into a symbol, and I put an alpha effect on that symbol, and then on a layer above, I just trace a vector version of the character and convert that into a symbol. Now, all I've done here is just keyframed the cat going from the bottom to the top and put in a simple tween. And there you have it. It's uh, animated enough to give me a sense of the timing. And you can adjust that as, to, uh, as you wish. And now you can use that timing in your final animation. The second way I like to do animatics in 
flash is fading from one movement to another. So here you can see the, sac uh, the cat is playing his saxophone and then he slouches down slouches down with his saxophone there if you can sort of see that. But basically that's just fading one image into another. And the way I do that in Flash is I keyframe the top image to alpha to an alpha of zero and I place the bottom image that is to fade into in the layer below it and just fades in there. So that's just a couple of ways to go about putting movement into your animatic. There are many different ways you can go about it and I suggest looking at the behind the scenes of your DVDs of your favorite animated films because in there they'll usually have deleted scenes and a lot of the time those are animatics and you can see how elaborate or how simple they can get and that can give you an idea of how to actually produce your animatics. Okay guys, thanks for watching my video. I hope that enlightened you somewhat on animatics and what they're used for. So now you can just continue to make those scenes and put them together in a video editing software or in Flash or After Effects until you have the completed draft version of your animation. That'll be your completed animatic. And in that animatic, you can also have the scratch dialogue and scratch sound effects and some temporary music there just to give you a, a complete picture of how your animation may turn out and what you might want to change and the timing you may want to change. It just helps you determine all these factors before you actually start that mountainous task of animating. So thanks for watching guys. This is Jason Rogers from jasondrawstoons.com and you've been watching Tips for Animations.